very quick post drop up vid. Basically, I can only see my girlfriend on the weekend uh, due to working commitments she has, I have. I've invited her down for the weekend and I've spent the entire night watching James DeGale. So I'm in the bad books ever so slightly, so I've got to keep this one a bit brief. Um, James DeGale, new IBF champion of the world. I made up for him. I made up for myself because I uh, had a little uh, fiver on him. And... Uh, yeah, it was a it was a good performance. Well, actually, let me take that back. He performed exceptionally well in the first half of the fight, and I thought I was watching what was going to become a pound for pound fighter. Yeah, Andre Durrell is someone I rate exceptionally highly. Yeah, even though I've been fairly bullish about James DeGale and fairly confident about DeGale winning, I've always been very complimentary about Andre Durrell, and I thought. The performance the Gale was putting in against Andre Durrell was, you know, sensational. Was superior to Carl Frotz, was superior to Arthur Abraham. But then the Gale seemed to kind of allow Andre Durrell back into the fight, and almost without any sort of reason, you know, whether the Gale was tired was unclear. Yeah, but Durrell said a lot of heart. All of this stuff about him having a glass jaw and a glass heart, you know. So otherwise, he came back into the fight, um, and really, the Gale was kind of on his bike from round seven to ten. So, in a nutshell, I scored rounds one to six to James the Gale. I think I gave Durrell one round, maybe round four. Um, I gave round seven to ten to Andre Durrell, and the last two to James the Gale. I thought the Gale finished strong, one eleven and twelve. Um, the Gale is so awkward, you know, switch hitting. And those, those hooks he throws, the jab hook, and the hook comes so wide. You know, it's not how you're taught to box. It comes so, so wide. And I think the angles James DeGale uses um, really caught Andre Durrell unawares. You know, I think he just didn't know how. He's such a technical, schooled boxer. He just wasn't anticipating these wide, wide hooks that the Gale was throwing, so they seem to catch him by surprise, and the Gale clearly hits very, very hard, you know, we have to buy into this thing about him having an injury that was affecting his power, because right now it looks like he is hitting very, very hard indeed, um, anyway, he dropped the rail, I thought he was going to stop the rail, after the second round, I was pretty confident, you know, it wouldn't go the distance, but the rail showed great heart and determination, I think the other thing to mention just briefly, at the start of the fight is, uh, the Gale's head movement, his ability to slip the Durrell jab and the double jab, and his ability to take a step back and come in and out of range was truly exceptional. Um, yeah, there were times that he showed good inside work, good body work, but perhaps didn't capitalise on that as much as he should have done throughout the course of the fight. So all in all, for me, this fight was very, very promising, um, but not a complete performance from James the Gale. And I was disappointed how he, he let Durrell back into the fight and he was quite lucky with the three scorecards really I scored it I think I scored it 114-112 uh, so I agreed with two of the three judges but when you're fighting away from home against an opponent like Andre Durrell you've got to be really careful giving away close rounds like that so uh, you know I feel even though he deserved to win I think he was lucky to get the judgement and the verdict um, finally in terms of where the Gale's at I do think he's going to need to improve from a performance like that if he's going to beat Andre Ward or Carl Frotz. You know, Andre Durrell is a, a really serious technician, but if you flag like that against someone with more pressure like a Ward or a Frotz, I think you could find yourself in trouble. Anyway, just wanted to put some brief thoughts up. Made up for the Gale. Uh, I grew up in the same postcode as James the Gale. Uh, I lived a few streets away from him I've been a fan of his uh, you know all the way through I've always thought he was going to be the next big thing and perhaps less impressed tonight than I thought I would be but if you look at that first three or four rounds and if you look at some of the work he did throughout the course of the fight at times he looks like a world class fighter there's a few bits that still need to be ironed out but tonight was a big experience for him uh, against the best opponent he's ever been in with and he's got the job done and won a world title on foreign soil. I'll do a longer post-fight video on Monday. I'll do more detailed. I'll do, you know, go into more depth. But for now, I'm made up and uh, I better run before I get in trouble with the missus.